confrontation with one of the most feared Nazi weapons of the entire war. Over 200 were built, but today just one remains. Discovering the secrets behind this scourge of Allied shipping is historian James Holland. Oh, this is just amazing. This is the world's only S-boat, a Schnell boot, and Schnell stands for fast, and boy, were these things quick. But actually, what's really interesting about this, because it's under restoration, you can see how it's constructed. This at the front, this is the kind of craftsmanship that the Vikings would have been familiar with. And also inside, they lined this woodwork with aluminium. So it's this extraordinary blend of, of old and new. This involves extremely skilled craftsmanship. This is not something you can mass reduce, which is why only around 200 were ever built. Based on the high-velocity civilian S-1 motor launch of 1930, its sleek hull is designed to plow through the rough waters of the English Channel and North Sea, producing the minimum stern wave, maximizing stealth, and making it perfect for opportunistic raids. Wow, and these are the engines. Look at them, they're just enormous. These were 20 cylinders, and there were three of them that powered the S-boat. These could hurtle through the water at around 43 knots, which is over 50 miles an hour, and that is seriously fast for a vessel. Well, it's incredible to actually be up on deck. It's changed a little bit. The superstructure's gone. There would have been railings here. And at the back, you'd have had cannons and machine guns and more guns at the front. And here, you would have had the torpedo tubes. You can see that curve, lovely curve in the prow. That would have been where they would have fired from. Ah, and here, this is the ring on which the high-velocity cannon would have been situated. Together with the machine guns and with the torpedoes, and its speed. This makes it an incredibly lethal weapon. Not only is it the last surviving example, it was involved in the interception of Exercise Tiger, the American pre-D-Day training exercise off Slapton Sands. This very vessel is part of the patrol that discovers the Allies' dress rehearsal for D-Day, sinking two US tank landing ships and damaging two more. For the Americans, the raid on Exercise Tiger exacts a heavy toll. More than 600 are killed. 